Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, with a couple of packages. We got a little black sack from Awesome Hank, and we got a little white box from C. Risner slash TPK Traditional Pocket Knives. And we're going to open them both together as a family right now. <laughs> Right, let's start with the Hanks. Make this a two-part video. We're gonna use this, the uh, the Tiffany blue and pink Hectare from CGRB. Bust this open. Awesome Hanks reached out on Instagram. He's like, dude, I love your channel. I want to send you some stuff to check out. And I was like, please and thank you. I love a good Hank. Everybody loves a good Hank. What do we got here? Thank you. Hope you like the Hanks. There's three in here. I think there's only two, my guy. Unless there's two in this... Oh, there's two in here. Okay, all right, perfect, perfect. All right, yeah, awesome, Hank. I had not even ever heard of this brand. Prior to him reaching out, we're going to start with this one. I shouldn't have thrown that piece of paper. We're going to start with this guy, see what we got. See what we got. These are about 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Oh, this is a little guy. <laughs> I love this, this kind of Southeast Asian, Japanese art style. Beautiful stitching. We got the little um, leather tag here. The brand tag, beautiful. We've got kind of like a Kraken situation going on on the back. Oh, yeah. Really nice microfiber uh, texture on the back material. That is a nice Hank. And I kind I really like this size. I mean, that's a damn pretty picture right there. I like Little Guy. I have some big ones. Here's, here's one that our, uh, you know, a friend of mine got me. It's huge. It's massive. I like a big Hank, but look at this little guy in comparison. It's a little cutie patoot, dude. That's adorable. Big Hanks, when you start folding them up, they just take up a ton of room. You know what I mean? So I, I like I like the idea of a, of a smaller Hank. So that is very nice. This one's called... I'll get you links for all these as well down in the description. This is the carry everything Hank. Because he's an octopus, he can carry... A, you see what I mean? He, he big brain moves here. And then we have a little two-pack here. A little two for... Two for, for Tri-State on a Tuesday. There you go. Get out of here. Oh, first off, we got a little ramen sticker. Big fan of some ramen. I pretty much live on it. I spend all my money on knives. And we have this. Which one's this? Mom? Dad? 8-Bit Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I love this Japanese art style. Uh, this one's a little guy, too. Uh, right? These are the same size. I don't know. I like little Hanks. This one's got the, uh, the stamped Future Me. What's this called? An eyelet? Is that correct? That feels right. And a little lanyard on there. That's nice. That's quality. Yeah, it's an 8-bit girl. It is what it says. It says, Awesome Hank. And again, that same Kraken backing. That beautiful micro microfiber texture. Oh, yeah. I love. I love. And finally, this one. They're all the same size. They're all adorable. I had no idea they were all so cute. And this one's just a good old, clean, classic Topo Hank. And again, same story. Beautiful stitching. Got an eyelet. Little lanyard here. Excuse me. And that Kraken microfiber backing. Oh, awesome, Hank. Links down below. Check them out. These are sick. Uh, pictures on Instagram as well. What a delightful little lineup there. Isn't that nice? Oh, I just love it. It's adorable. Works of art, all of them. And a ramen sticker. I may give some of these away. I may keep these. I'll probably keep these. I like this size a lot. And I like the way they look. And I like the art style. Links down below. Awesome, Hank. Shout out. Thank you so much, dude, for sending these to me. Now then... C. Risner, uh, TPK, reached out to me the other day. Literally yesterday, said he was shipping me something, and this arrived a day, less than a day later. He is a, an Ohio boy, local boy. Kind of local. Bellbrook, not that local. But Ohio, we're in the same state, so it didn't have to go that far. Said he was sending me something. I had no idea it was coming this quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that paperwork out of here. Get that out of here. Oh, yeah. It's a new exclusive. Nothing left in the box. Goodbye. A new exclusive QSP, baby. It's been a minute since I've checked out a QSP. This one piqued my interest uh, because it is a full titanium button lock QSP. Penguin. Which everybody loves the penguin. Love the box. I love the artwork on the box. They do a good job with that. The jigged tie pattern all over it. Sea Rizzer Cutlery exclusive penguin single blade sheep's foot. Gold jigged titanium. Inside, we have the traditional QSP box roo. Nothing crazy going on here. The little drawer. Classy. It's a classy maneuver. Got some stickers within. Nice. Alpha Wolf. 
some paperwork. Oh, yeah. Gold, baby. Give me the gold, baby. Very nice. And this is the OG penguin size, not the big oversized one. Yes. Gold, jid, titanium. So anodized gold, but a full titanium build. Lanyard loop. Uh, titanium pocket clip. Simple, clean, milled titanium pocket clip. Uh, silver, kind of stonewash hardware all the way around. We got the flipper. We got the thumb studs. Blade steel. S90V. This is a full, pimped out penguin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me give you a slow... A sm uh, bleh. A closed size comparison, Spydeco Pair 3. A little bit smaller, Tectile Rockwall, right about the same size as Rockwall. Right at Rockwall size. If you've ever handled any version of the Penguin, which there are about a million versions of this damn knife, uh, you know how big a Penguin is. Uh, we got the uh, the Illuminati logo on the pivot there. You gotta have it. Flicker open. We got a flipper tab in that beautiful... Is that hollow? <gasps> hollow ground, built satin finish. S90V blade. Hollow grind on a penguin. I didn't know it could get any better. S90V. Mamacita. Love the jig tie. Just as clean and classy as it gets. Just a classic design at this point. Open size comparison. Pair 3 rock wall. Again, right in between these two... Hello? Right in between these two knives here. So a great EDC size for me and my tiny little hands. You know what I mean? Love it. Beautiful ergos in hand. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of blocky, but it is what it is. Nice texture from that jig titanium. Feels good. Choke back, four finger grip. Thumb on that jimping. Locked and loaded, no problems. You can kind of trigger pull it. Choke up right about here. Thumb out on the blade. Feels like home, no issues. Pinch grip. You can. Ah, uh, 60, 70% of the day. I wouldn't go any further than that. It's a little sketchy, but the perfect blade for a good pinch grip. It's doable. It's doable. I need a slightly bigger choil, but with that flipper tab, you can lock in. No issues. Beautiful stuff. Action on ceramic bearings. Yeah. Thumb flick. Snappy. Reverse flick. Beautiful. Flipper's a little soft. I'm going to fail it. Flipper, a little soft. And I got to tell you, my thumb studs are loose. Easy fix. The studs work excellent. Detent is money. Nice and snappy. But that flipper does not you got to really get a running start on that thing to get it to flip open. Um, but, that being said, action's nice. A little bit of resistance from the uh, bearings. Doesn't quite want to close all the way. Again, factory fresh, you know. I'll give you guys long term on this stuff. Makes a good noise. Solid noise. Yeah, I'm just pumped that it's a hollow grind in S90V. I'm very pumped about that. Very good. Lockup is a little bit of up and down blade play, just a hair. Passes the spine whack test. No worries there. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm pumped. The Penguin is like an all-time great at this point as far as budget knives go. When somebody asks for what's like a good starting knife, the answer is almost always going to be a Penguin. 30 bucks. Can't go wrong. But now that we pimped her out, I like it even more. Um, I would like a little bit of a snappier detent for that flipper tab. But that being said, the action with the studs is so crispy that I'm not that mad about it. You do got to kind of swing it closed. I don't like having to shake shut button locks. I just want them to drop. I want a guillotine drop on a button lock. Which it does. And again, I'll lube her up, break her in, and we'll see how she does. But I do want to cut something with this voluptuous hollow ground S90V sheep's foot. Oh, baby. Um... You know she's going to cut. Let me grab some paper. A little audio catalog action. Oh, God, dude. Yeah. Lightsaber. Oh. Oh. Well done. Well done, QSP. Ribbons, my dude. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Please and thank you. That is nice. That is nice. It's a freaking lightsaber. I approve wholeheartedly. Future me, how much is this thing? Can't, I mean, how much? Do I have the receipt? Hello? Nope, doesn't tell me. Uh, I will find out. Future me, price on the uh, pimped out penguin here from uh, C. Risner Cutlery. 
I dig it. I dig it quite a lot. Um, again, I'm going to play with it and cut with it and all that good stuff, and I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram and on the live streams. But that is it. Links down below, and uh, if I can get you a discount code, I will. See Risner, TPK, they do awesome stuff. Their slip joints are amazing. Great people. Ohio boys, support them if you can. Uh, but that is it. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. I'm out there. Um, also, be sure to like the video, comment, subscribe. I'm, I'd appreciate it. I'd greatly appreciate it. But that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.